Hi, this is Charles, the ClickFunnels support team. This video is to show you step-by-step -step how to set up your custom domain through Cloudflare so that you can use it within ClickFunnels. All right, so the first thing you're going to do when you, sh you get signed up for Cloudflare, you go to Add Website. Oops, maybe I should add a domain. <laughs> Alright, add your website. After you have your website added, you're going to continue setup. Now Cloudflare is going to scan all the records applying to this domain name. Okay, after you get through watching the presentation, Click continue. Alright, now it's going to list all of the information that it pulled off of that domain name. Alright, and if you see here, no longer a slave.me, it's still pointing to my hosting services um, IP address. It's key to remember this is, uh, it's essential that you remember once you change this, whatever was originally at that domain name will no longer be found. I mean, there are ways to go back and fix it, but once you change where this domain name is pointing to, uh, then any information that was on there, say you had a blog, um, whatever is set to there uh, will no longer be viewable because it's going to be redirected to the new uh, ClickFunnels site that you, you attach this to. Okay, Keep that in mind. If you do have a blog on that site or something similar that you want to keep there, then you probably want to consider using a subdomain or creating a subdomain as well. Or creating a subdomain instead of a domain a domain change like this. Um, all right, so we don't need any of this information because I'm not going to be using this as my hosting or functioning like my host site like my hosting service would um, so we can get rid of all of these we'll keep this one Now we're going to create a new C name. Uh, All right. Now is an alias of. Now what you put in here is target. Dot clickfunnels. Dot com. Add that. Disregard the errors that are here. And disregard this area here. Alright. And once you Alright. Now leave this to free. Click net continue. Alright, now that you got your name servers, um, this is telling you what you need to go or what you need to change your current name servers over to for this to work properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into host monster. This is my my hosting site. Um, use custom name servers. Most of these uh, most of your web hosting pretty much functions the same way. Um, if you need help with your specific um, web hosting service then consult their documentation. They should be able to show you how you add custom name service to that particular domain. Now that we have that, we go here, 
copy this first one, paste it, we go to the second one, copy it, paste it, save name servers. Alright, so now it's successfully updated. So now we go back here. Alright, this is where it takes some time for it to happen. Um, they're going to have to verify that HostMonster correctly switched over to these new uh, name servers. So this could take anywhere up to 24 hours. Usually it happens within about 20-30 minutes. So while we're waiting on this, we go into our ClickFunnels account. All right, and we'll go to my account settings, custom domains. This is where we're going to add our new domain. Here, longer a slave. Dot me. Understand? Do not put www dot, or it will not function properly. Okay. It just needs to be the domain dot com dot me dot whatever you have, uh, but just the domain name. All right, we'll select a root page. Um, already saved. Um, let's see here. Where to go? Where to go? Sorry, got a lot of stuff in here. All right, well, you, you get the idea. Whatever whatever web page you want this to, to load to, whenever you go to it, um, you select it out of here. Um, and then if you want to create your own error pages simply create those and then you would link to them from here um, ssl enabled for main domain or for domain click check then you're going to create the domain all right so let's go back over and check to see if this has been updated yet see already happened all right now we go here we click on the cogwheel we go to cloudflare settings all right security profile now we have another waiting moment, okay? We have to wait for this to go green. This could take a while. Once again, it, up to 24 hours for it to activate, but uh, I've seen it done earlier than that. But you wanna click full SSL, successfully changed, all right? So this is what we're waiting on this box right here to turn green to say everything's good to go, all right? So we go back here, we want to create page rules, all right? All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a forwarding um, page rule, uh, which essentially means that if somebody goes to www. or if they type in www. no, no longer a slave. me, it will direct to the page just like if they just if they didn't use www and they just use no longer a slave dot me so we add this no longer a slave dot me forward slash asterisk we will be forwarding that https colon forward slash no longer a slave dot me forward slash dollar sign one we're going to save this as a permanent rule once you add the rule everything's set up here so now we're just waiting for this to get initialized like i said this could take 
anywhere up to an hour or up to an hour to 24 hours um, if you are using a paid sir if you if you are paying for the service um, they will do it within 10 to 15 minutes but since we are only doing a free version we have to wait so after that's accomplished then I'll come back and we'll finish up all right so as you can see uh, the SSL is currently active for the site all right now everything should be set up we go back into here this should be the opt-in page that pops up whenever I go to this link here all right as you can see we right click this open it up in incognito window and there you have it that is how to correctly set up your custom domain service through Cloudflare to point to your ClickFunnels um, website. All right. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to message back in. We're always here to help.